Hi everyone, my name is Kang and I'm a developer advocate in the TensorFlow team. Welcome to Machine Learning for Raspberry Pi, where I'll show you how to make your Raspberry Pi smarter with AI and machine learning. In this video series, we'll talk about how to do object detection on Raspberry Pi. Here are what you will learn. First, I'll show you how to download a pre-trained TensorFlow Lite object detection model and deploy it to your Raspberry Pi. This model can recognize general objects such as an apple, a television, or a car. Second, we'll learn how to train a custom object detection model to recognize specific objects in your problem domain, like recognizing different Android figures. Third, I'll talk about which object detection model architecture you should use in your use case, depending on whether speed or accuracy is more important to you. And lastly, you'll learn how to speed up your model inference by using Google Coral Edge GPU. Each topic will be covered in one video. In this video, we'll talk about the first topic, using an officer self model to run object detection on Raspberry Pi in just five minutes. Now let's get started. The easiest way to start running object detection on Raspberry Pi is to download a pre-trained TensorFlow Lite model and deploy it on your device. For those who don't know, TensorFlow Lite is a library to run TensorFlow machine learning models on edge devices such as Raspberry Pis, smartphones, or even web browsers. Before we download the model and run the code, please make sure that you have the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS because you will need to use a camera driver that is only available on the recent versions of the OS. You can check your OS version by opening terminal on your Raspberry Pi and type this command. You can find all commands in this video in a gist in the video description. So in this video, I use a Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspberry Pi OS version 10, as you can see from here. If you have an old version of the Raspberry Pi OS, you can go to the Raspberry Pi website, download the Raspberry Pi imager, and flash the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS onto your SD card. The website URL is in the video description. You need to connect a camera to your Raspberry Pi to run the sample. You can either use the Raspberry Pi camera module, or you can also use a USB camera and connect it to the USB port in your Raspberry Pi. If you use a Raspberry Pi camera module, make sure that you have enabled it in the Pi OS setting. Go to the Raspberry Pi menu, select Preference, then Raspberry Pi configuration. Go to interface and make sure to enable the camera. You will need to reboot the computer before this change takes effect. After reboot, open terminal. I'm going to run a series of commands to set up the Raspberry Pi. We start by running this command to update the local packages. Okay, then next, check your Python version. Make sure that you have Python 3.7 or newer to proceed. Then we'll create a Python virtual environment to make sure that the Python packages that we're going to install won't have any conflict with other packages that uh, you already have in your system. This step is optional, but it's highly recommended. Start installing virtual environment via the pip command. Then create a virtual environment called tflite. Then let's activate it. Now let's clone the TensorFlow examples repository, which contains the Raspberry Pi object detection sample code that you are going to use. Then change directory to examples, light, examples, object detection, and Raspberry Pi. 
this directory contains the source code that we are going to run for our application. Run shell setup.sh to install the um, TensorFlowLite um, package and other Python dependencies required by the sample. Then finally, run python detect.py and see what the model can detect. Because this object detection model was trained on a general dataset, it can recognize general objects like a keyboard, a clock on the wall, a cell phone, or a water bottle. But if you need to detect specific objects like different kinds of Android figurines, you will need to collect training data and train a custom object detection model. I'll show you how to do it in the next video in this series. The model runs at about 2 frames per second on my Raspberry Pi 4. If you want to make it faster, check out another video later in this series to learn how to use the Coral Edge TPU to speed up the model inference. So that's all you need to run object detection on Raspberry Pi. Now let's take a closer look at the code that users ran. In the setup shell script, we do two things. The first thing is that we install the Python dependencies that is required to run the sample. One of them is the tflight runtime pif package. It contains the minimum runtime to run TensorFlowLite models, and it is way smaller and much faster to install compared to the full TensorFlow package. Then we download a pre-trained TensorFlow Lite models from TensorFlow Hub. For those who don't know, TensorFlow Hub is a repository for TensorFlow pre-trained models, just like how GitHub is for open source software. You can find many models from Google and other contributors on TensorFlow Hub. There are many TensorFlow Lite optimization models on TensorFlow Hub that you can choose from. Here we use a model called Efficient Lite. It is a state-of-the-art optimization model for edge devices at the time the video was created. In another video later in this series, I will explain more about how to choose a model for your use case, whether inference speed or accuracy is more important to you. And now let's take a closer look at the detect uh, Python script that runs the optimization model. We start with setting up OpenCV to capture the images from the camera. Then we initialize a TensorFlowLite object detector. It specifies the TensorFlowLite model and some optional configurations, such as the confidence score threshold to detect an object, etc. You can take a closer look at the available options in the code. There's no need to specify a label file to map the class index to a human readable label because TensorFlowLite model we use in this sample already includes the label file inside. Then we start the loop to continue capturing the frames from the camera until you press the escape key. And here's the main code that runs the object detection. So we start with capturing the, the frames continuously from the camera and just like flip mirror it so that it looks more natural. Then we feed the frames to the object detectors instance that we created earlier. This function returns a list of detected objects with its class name, score, and bounding boxes. You can change the object detector option when initializing the object detector so that it will only detect certain types of objects such as only detecting keyboards from the images, or taking only objects that were detected with the confidence scores above a certain threshold. And finally, we call a utility function to visualize the detection results on the screen. So that's all you need to run object detection on Raspberry Pi. Very easy, isn't it? In the next video, I'll show you how to train a custom object detection model to detect specific objects that you care about. To learn how to collect and label your training data, then using TensorFlowLite Model Maker to train the custom model. Thank you for watching and see you again. <laughs>